Hey okay, guys, so this is Hot Rod Vinny. <laughs> and this is his new, what year is this baby, Vinny? 2016. 2016. Golden Champion, it says. Oh no, I'm sorry, Golden Companion. A hot Rod Scooter. And it come from the factory, broke down. The arm's loose on it. Uh, so it has an automatic adjuster on it. And then you're supposed to tighten it down. But the wild man Vinny got all crazy with it and stripped it out. You need to touch it. You didn't break it? Oh. Anyhow, it's all stripped out. So we're gonna pull the cover off it, see if it's something that we can fix. Because I guess when you're coming into the corners, you want something rigid, right? Yeah, it just bothers the hell out of me. Just bothers you, huh? That's a sweet upgrade from your last one. Okay, so we got both the covers off here, Vinny. <laughs> Let's see. Can't be any harder working on a Dodge, right? Can't be, no. So... Big foggy control they have. Yeah. So yeah, it's just got to be all stripped out in there. Um, as far as getting it off, that I don't know. I think uh, perhaps so. One of these, uh, because it's limited, you know, it only goes so high. So it looks like there's another screw right inside this arm that must hold the uh, perhaps holds the limiting device. Worst case scenario, we can weld it. That's all right. Don't bother me. You're pretty easy to get along with, Vinny. Whatever happened to your lawnmower? Hmm. Whatever happened to your lawnmower? The old orange one. Oh, I sold that. Who the hell bought that thing? <laughs> he, he fixed the deck and everything, and he sold it. It works good. Hey, look at that. Good guess, huh? Yeah. Okay, so, oh, okay, so they just used the screw as the uh, limiter. Um, and as far as uh, this mechanism here, Wedge that whole thing together. No, they don't. It's underneath this sticker. I'm about to tear up your sticker, Vinny. Do whatever you gotta do. Uh, we'll try to be nice to it, but I, I'm not very ginger when it comes to this, this fine detail work here. Look at that. We just gotta reverse engineer this baby. As well. we don't have the manual on this, you know. So if we take this off, then we should be able to get the spring and everything out. You gave me a manual at home, but I don't Well, I don't think they want you tearing it apart. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Well, someone's so. got to fix it. They sure the hell don't. Where'd you get it? The VA got it for me. I don't know where the hell they get it from. All right, so here's our mechanism. It's got, uh, you know, some threads on it. I don't know if they're a standard thread. But the problem is, it's supposed to be threaded inside this arm, and it's not. Only about the last, uh, about the last thread. So the first several threads are toast. It may just be a standard three-eighths thread. We may be able to helicoil this. All right, let's see if they are standard thread. So here's a regular 3 8 I think we might be in luck. That one's a little bit loose. Maybe it's metric. Probably. Probably some Japanese crap. Probably. Yep. Yeah, that's what it feels like. 10 by 150. Oh man. 
10125. That should be a 10150, right? 10150. If it's not, it's what it's going to be, okay? <laughs> so I think I think we'll be. If it don't work, you use a sledgehammer. You know? Oh, we got sledgehammers, don't you worry. <laughs> no, what do we got here? I need some pliers. Need something to hold this thing. Yeah, it's a 10150. Boy, Vinny, I think we can fix your little scooter here. You know I put a lady's prosthetic leg back on for her once, you know that? Oh. Huh? <laughs> she came over from the laundromat over here, dragging her foot, her foot come loose. And I cut a lady's cast off once with my cutoff wheel. Never even broke her skin. She begged me to cut it off. I told her it's probably not advisable, but I would do it. So let me see if I got a helicoil. Let's see. Look at that. 10 by 150. We need a 13 30 seconds drill. Oh man, a big jabroni. Alright, let me get a drill. Alright. Well, it just fits in a 3 h drill. See if we can do this without losing a finger. Oh, you got nine more. Yeah, no, they're overrated. I only got nine at work right now. Whoa, probably ought to put this in a vise, but... Come on, little fella. Not a lot of material there, so I don't think it'd take very much. Should have a tap socket for this. Brand new 20 or the showroom floor is junk. Yeah. What pretty color. Yeah. The women like it, do they? I don't know. I haven't met that many yet. You haven't met that many yet? There's not that many in this town, you know. Yeah, with this horn. Oh. Oh man, that, you ain't picking up chicks with that horn. Oh, come on, you little sucker. Then loop my tab. Hardly any material here on the very end where we're tapping this little guy out. Vinny wanted to be on YouTube, Anna. Oh, is he, Vinny is a superstar. Ladies be calling now, Vinny. <laughs> I won't put your phone number on you. I don't want to. Oh, what? I don't know what they'll call you, but. <laughs> Is all tapped out. Now the uh, helicoil is going to be a touch on the long side. However, I think we can cut it off without much problem. Uh, let's see. Hannah, will you grab, uh, grab the black light there? I want to look at it from the back side. I'm going to get it so it just comes through. Here, here come on here, wait. Hold that light. You be light holder, girl. Right, it's just coming through now, so we've got that much of the, uh, coil sticking. I don't know if you guys can see what we're doing here. 
So I think what we're going to try to do is we're just going to take and uh, cut that off flush. These are super hard, so we'll probably have to use a cutoff wheel and not scratch the paint. Wow, he's got a little bit of dust on him. All right, Greg, close your eyes. I just see that baby red hot gonna drop right on my digits. Okay, we got the bulk of it off. Now comes the. Uh... Oh my gosh! Edit that out. Let's see. I tell you what, we'll cut it just above the surface, and then we'll screw it in just a little bit to make it flush. Get a pair of needle nose, will you? Really just want to trim. We might we might lose a little paint here, I'm not gonna lie. You might lose a little paint here, man. Good. Barely scratched it. Is that for me, man? Yeah? Nope. Alright, hold on. Alright, so here's our 10150 tap. Or our 10150 thread chaser. Look at that little guy, huh? That threads right in. And if you're working on your 2016 Golden Companion scooter in candy apple red and you scratch the paint, all you need is a sharp you watch this. Huh? That would be none the wiser. You don't even know I've been here, Vinny. Look at that. Fixed. Right? Okay, where's the screwdriver? Alright, so now we gotta go in and we've gotta break the, the tang off our helicoil. Let's give that a little push. Push and a flick, out it comes. Now technically, our threaded little unit here should work. We can find all the pieces for it. So we've got the spring. Uh, I'll make it lighter if that piece is left over. Yeah, well, I told you there's no guarantee here, Vinny, so <laughs> that's the thing you gotta know about me. Guarantee to leave your garage. Yeah, it'll leave, trust me. You may or may not have an armrest. It was a little snug there. I'm going to run the thread chaser down through it. Sometimes with these uh, helicoils, when you come back up through that little tang you broke off, sometimes it doesn't really like it. The thread chaser runs through fine. With that being said, because this has probably been gnarred up, we'll run our thread chaser all the way over this. Because that's a little snug still. Yeah. like a caveman. Might have just had a little burr on it. One thing you don't want to do is force it up through the helicoil. Because if you catch that thing, it just makes a mess. You know, you pretty much got a one, one shot at fixing it. So, and I didn't heal or uh, red Loctite it because everybody's going to ask why I didn't red Loctite it. I'm afraid the red Loctite will wick through the helicoil and come up into these threads. And then if uh, 
Vinny here wants to change the height of his armrest. I hate to have it. I never change it. You never change it? Come on, Vinny, I'm trying to make a video here. <laughs> you never know, your arms could get shorter. Okay? Disagree with me. Okay. All right? Let's see. Pieces of the old thread stuck in here. Yeah, yes, yeah, so there's chunks. Too chunky. <laughs> I think we're good. However, that is a matter of opinion. Right, Anna? That's right. You always agree with me. That's what I like about you. Man, she's still, she's still a little snug in there. What a thunder. Let's do that way, friends. Maybe it's our spring that's binding up. <sighs> Quick, he says. It's only going to take me a minute, he says. Hi, huh, Vinny. I'm going to take, take you a minute. Guy comes in with some sob story. Here we are, five hours later. Okay. I'm gonna try to run the thread chaser through from the back side. Obviously there's some something going on there. Well, that runs that runs right through. told you not to force it, so don't force it. Even though I want to, we're going to have to approach this logically here. Probably some engineer watching Hannah that knows the answer to the question, to the problem. If everything threads through. <laughs> it's magic, folks. Thread chaser goes through. This goes through the thread chaser. Everything's compatible here. Okay. I'm probably gonna get it and it's not gonna have the spring on it. It looks like it's starting. It starts nice and straight. I mean, gosh, it goes in. It goes in a few threads. Shot a brake clean. Maybe. What hurt? Everything works better with brake clean. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Just, just got like one little, one little burr on it. Never, never force it through. I'll tell you that right now, folks. Almost there. Look at that, huh? Bada bing, bada boom, baby! You ain't sleeping over here, are you, Vinny? Not yet. Not yet? Getting close? Look at this. Oh, this thing. I was always taught that you can't fix it with a hat and a duct tape to box it. It's unfixable, huh? Jeez. Well, I'm doing the best I can here, Val. 
So we'll put our handle back on. Ooh, hear that? first gear but then they let right off it. Okay. There we can put our sticker back on. So now we're giving her a little two of some fluid film right on the threads. Oh man, this thing is gonna be so sweet. Yeah it's just got like one little one little catchy spot in there. That's weird. Everything threaded together. Oh man, I got the handle all slimy. Yeah, we can be a rag. Ah, real sweet, Hannah. All right, so I think we're we're good to go. We got it. Got it all fixed up with the paint. Well, this turned into a pretty uh, lengthy video. <laughs> okay. What? What? Uh, where did you have it set? Where do you want it? Right there. You sure? Yeah. I got it on the first guess. All right. So that should technically tighten up now. How's that, huh? Hey, Boom. Much better. Much better. Now we can discuss the price. <laughs> We'll put the stop back in in case you uh, rapidly accelerate. That should keep it from yanking up. Loosen this back up. All right, that's where you want it, right there. Get that rag. Same height as this one. I don't know why they got adjustable height in there anyway. Well, I don't know, in case uh, for it fits different people, you know. They want your comfort, Vinny. Oh, is that this right? is a comfort machine, man. Oh, baby. You gonna try to keep this one nice? You don't care. Get you use it. Yep. It's what they're made for. That's right. I made it look pretty. We got some sweet ass chrome wheels on there. Well, there she is. Sticker and all. Just like uptown. Yeah, that's right, right, baby. Huh? Look at that. All right. So, what do you think? I think it's all right. It's all right? Yep. Be able to scoot around, watch traffic, smoke cigarettes. We'll discuss putting that motor in next time. Yeah. Oh, that, that uh, three liter over there? Yeah. All right. I think All right, well, I guess that's it. That's the first scooter I've ever fixed in any, well, besides your old one. I was always patching that toilet back together. You're always smashing the lights out of it. <laughs> Getting stuck and breaking wheels and batteries and all that stuff. Before. Yep, do what you gotta do, so. So Vinny here is a Vietnam vet, he served his country, and uh, I think it's the least we can do is to fix his handle on his scooter here and uh, send him on his way so we can get scooting. Okay. How's that sound, Minnie? Thank you. You're welcome. No charge, keep it, uh, keep it out of the ditch. I try to. All right, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, come on, let me have some fun. Yeah, you can have some fun. <laughs> See you, Benny. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So that's Vinny, and that's how you repair the handle on your, what was that thing called, the Golden Champion? I don't even remember. It was something sweet. So, Vinny's a local. He likes to scoot around. So, alright guys, thanks for watching.